Well, sometimes we just make do with what we got, right? You need need three guys. You got one guy. We'll figure it out. Anyway, that's how I got the cab off. So now we're back here on the 38. We got the chassis ready to ready to finish. Um, I need to finish doing some welding and to finish the welding on these on these cab mounts. Um, I need to finish the welding here. Uh, I need to finish the welding here and the welding here. Well, welcome back to the garage everybody. You can see a uh, 38 cab. Yeah, I used my engine hoist and a 4x4 under the lid to uh, pick it up. Worked like a charm. Got it on the cradle, ready to go. This needs some welding. I need to do some welding here on the motor mounts or on the cab mounts. Uh, motor mount over here needs to be welded and got to get it clean, ready for paint. Alright, I got all my welding done and I've been cleaning this thing and I'm running into this this thing has some serious undercoating on it and I don't remember it being this hard to get off on the last truck me and Kelly spent like a day with a with a wire wheel and stuff and cleaned right up this one has this like sticky stuff all over it it's gonna be really hard to paint like it was a, it was undercoated or something I don't know okay I'm gonna start day two of cleaning you can see making pretty good progress here turns out the this wire wheel is one of the best things this has a slight undercoating and you can see you can kind of see here it's a little bit sticky this actually, uh, this wire wheel is actually taking it off. Otherwise, I use the adhesive remover and spray on the spots where I can't really get, and the ad adhesive remover takes it right off. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep going, getting this thing cleaned up, ready for paint. Okay, so I spent pretty much all day yesterday. As you can see, I got the gas tank back out. You can tell by the mess on the floor. I spent quite a few hours here. I actually went through went through two of these, one of the other style, and now I'm on to this little one so I can get get into the, some of the tight spots here. Still got some cleaning to do. Still got more work to do on the diff. Uh, a little bit more on the battery tray there. Probably spend another hour or two, and then I'm gonna degrease it up here. I got a lot of grease up here by the rack and pinion and stuff like that so i want to get this thing painted today and then next week i want to focus on putting the engine and transmission together putting them in in the frame and start putting all the accessories everything wiring all that's going to get put on uh, i need to drain the gas out of the tank uh, clean the gas tank up put it back in run the feet put the fuel lines and stuff in motor tranny all that stuff so a lot of work to do next week but my goal is by the end of next week to have this chassis pretty much a turnkey roller and ready for the cab and the body to go back on so we'll see what happens all right so now i'm just gonna hit this with some brake clean rinse this thing down top to bottom make sure i got all my greasy handprints off of it I went with the Krylon spray paint. It uh, says it can be sprayed straight to metal. So I'm just gonna use a few cans of this brake clean, rinse all the greasy prints off of this and get everything off of here. Air dry it, make sure the metal's all dry and then I'm gonna start spraying it. I hit it with the old Rust-Oleum. Get that glossy black on there. It's looking pretty good. The cross member has a bunch of grease. I got in there with a wire wheel and knocked it all down. Now I just need to uh, wash off as much as I can. This is going to get spendy here with all this brake clean. It's probably a better way to do this, but the brake cleaner works pretty good. We'll wash all this stuff off.
but that's gonna take a lot. All right, so I'm gonna case, almost a full case of brake clean, a bundle of rags, a whole lot of wire wheeling, and I'm gonna touch it with a self etching primer. This thing had a, this one had to have been undercoated. I don't remember the other truck having that much slime all over it. It, it took me three days to get this thing clean almost. Um, so I'm gonna hit it with a self etching primer, just lightly. The Krylon says that uh, you can spray it right, right on the metal, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of this and uh, see what happens. All right, I got a light coat, light coat of etching primer. It's about dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit it with a Krylon. looking pretty good a little bit of black paint goes a long way it makes the thing look way different all right well there we have it frame is prepped and ready I'm gonna let that dry over the weekend the 38 cab I'm gonna let that chill for a minute go ahead and put where is it that transmission and that engine put all that together bolt it in the frame start hanging accessories everything motor transmission drive line assemble all that gas tank everything fuel lines the whole chassis is going to get put together and then at that point i think i will probably tarp it really good roll it off to in the side yard and we'll get the cab in here do all the body work Firewall underneath, inside, dashboard, all that needs to be done and put together, painted and finished. Sand. There's a lot. There's two weeks worth of work there, and then that uh, will get added on here, and we'll start the wiring process. So there's a lot more to come. This project's just now getting rolling along. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on the next video.